Hi there. I'm going to go through a few of the steps necessary to create a PHP statement that will pull data from a MySQL database. So, to get started, I am going to use some local server applications. I'll be using uh, MySQL and PHP on, a, on the local side. So I'm going to go ahead and start up the PHP dev application. which allows my local computer to operate as a web server so that I can test these locally without having to publish them to my web host. So currently I don't have a page yet so I'm going to be using my editor and I'll be creating a database. Before I use the editor I'm going to go ahead and create the database. So I'm going to jump over to the PHP My Admin application and I'm going to create a new database space company. And I'll create that and I'll create a table called People and there will just be three fields in there. I'll have a field for ID, one for name, and one for age. I'll limit the first one to two characters, second one to 15 characters, and age I'll make that a uh, tiny integer. All right, and I'll save that. So I've got my fields now. Now I would like to go ahead and import data into this. So I am going to import from a text file. Let me change my browser window here a bit. I've already got some data in a CSV, common delimited text file. So at the very bottom of this, instead of entering data manually or entering data through a PHP, we certainly could enter data via PHP script, my uh, SQL statement. I'm going to insert data from a text file into my table. I'm going to browse for it. I've already got it saved on my desktop called book1.csv and I know that the fields are separated by commas. Then I will hit submit. Now if I browse my table I can see that it's been populated with some data. I've got ID numbers, I've got names and ages for different people. So now that I've got that my database has been created. My MySQL database has been created. It's called company, has one table in it, the table is called people and that table has data. Now I'm going to create some scripts so that I can get this information. So I will open up my editor of choice. I'm using a Notepad++. And I'm going to write some PHP scripts. So I'll start off with my PHP tag and I'm going to use the MySQL connect function to connect to my database. Now it is called localhost. There is currently no username for it and currently no password for it, so not a very secure database. But it's local. There, so here's my PHP statement. In a real database, you would refer to generally either your local host if your script is on the same page is on the same domain as the as the database. In many cases, though, your database might be kept on a separate server, separate machine, so you might actually have a more complete looking domain URL here. The username and the password for that particular password for that particular database. If I connect, then this message that I'm connected to my MySQL will get displayed. Now if I can't connect, I'm going to get an error message and, before the, and if the error message comes up then I won't be able to get to this second part here because it's read line by line. So I will be saving this into my PHP dev folder in the www folder and I'm going to call it um, connection dot PHP. I'll make it a PHP file. Now back to my browser. I should be able to go back to my local host and get a display and there's my connection PHP. When I run this I get connected to MySQL so I'm therefore connected. Now I'm going to enhance this just a bit.
error. I've made a modification. So not only will I now connect to my database, but I'm going, co going to connect to a, I'm sorry, not only, gonna, not only am I going to connect to MySQL, but I'm going to connect to a specific database. Back to the browser and refresh. So I can connect to the MySQL and I can connect to a specific database. You could actually have multiple databases in there. Okay, so let's make some more modifications. I'm going to create a query. Now to do this, I'm going to create a variable called query that I can refer to later on. And that query is going to be to select all fields from my people table. The result of this query is going to be formatted to some degree with the MySQL MySQL query function. So, the query is to select all fields from the people table. The result of that query right here, because there's the query represented by the variable, is going to be formatted with the MySQL query function, and that result is stored in the result variable. So I've got a query variable contained inside of my result variable. Now I want to display all of the rows of my data, so I want it to go through each row and display everything. So I'm going to use a while statement. and display a row variable, or use a row variable to display. With a fetch array function of the result. So my result is part of a, an array fetch. Array is a list of things, and each row is going to be a part of that, and it'll keep repeating over and over until it's done. Each row is going to, be, is going to display the name, of the name of somebody in my people table, then I'm concatenating with a hyphen, and then it's going to display the age of a person. Followed Each line, each row, followed by a break tag, so it'll display in a list. Oh, doesn't like something in line 8, so error message is pointing me to a particular problem. Looks like I have a typo. Okay, so everything will be displayed. Save this. Refresh, and there are the results.